less than 50. This one is polynomial equations, ordered pairs, and Cartesian coordinate system. <laughs> okay, all that to say. Um, we reviewed this real quickly in lesson 48, um, the degree of a term. So, for example, if you see 2x to the third power, or just an x, or an xyz, okay, this 2x to the third power would be considered a third degree term. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. First degree term? Yep. Because it's the exponent, the term yeah, up here. And it's the third degree. Mm -hmm. Yep. Because it'd be 1, 1, 1. So that would be yep. 3. Okay? Just a quick review. They wanted you to know that again. Okay? Now, if we're talking about polynomials, a third degree polynomial would be x third plus xy plus um, m. That would be third degree. And I'll tell you why in just a second. Let me go and finish writing these. Um, 2x plus 4y. Um, and then just 2x. Okay, now let me show you, tell you why this one will be a third degree, a first degree, and a first degree polynomial. Okay, um, basically whichever one um, is the highest term. So this one had 3, this one had 2, and this one had 1. So this one would be a third degree polynomial because it's the highest amount of terms. This one would 1 and 1, so it would be considered first degree, and that one's a 1, so it's just a first degree. Just quick review if you want to bring a little bit more into that, 48 lesson had that. Okay, now, um, yeah, that's pretty much all this do. And then it talks about an equation, but it, it pretty much has the same kind of problem. Okay, the next thing we're going to talk about is um, ordered pairs. But before we get into the ordered pairs, I want to talk to you about something. Um, you're going to get an equation, for example, y equals 2x plus 4. Okay, they're going to tell you to graph it. Well, how in the heck do I graph that, right? Okay, so what you can do is you can always choose an x. Okay, uh -huh. this is um, an xy graph, and we're going to talk about how to do that in just a minute, but just pick any, any x. So I'm just going to pick 2. 2 is my x, and so if 2 is my x, then that's 2 times 2. And 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 plus 4 equals 8. So then y equals 8. So if my x is my 2, then y is a 8. All right, pick another one. I don't care. 4. 4. If x is a 4, then 4 times, let me go and put a 4 here. Then 4 times 2 is 8, and 8 plus 4 is 12. So y equals 12. You can even do negative numbers. Let's do a negative 1. Negative 1, 2 times negative 1. Negative 2. Negative 2 plus a 4. 2. Just a 2. Okay? And then you will learn to graph. All right? Mm -hmm. So that's, that brings us to the next thing. I'm going to talk, I need to talk about that in a second. Um, to ordered pairs. Okay? And an ordered pair is something that looks like this. X and a Y. Now, it doesn't actually have letters in it. It has numbers. For example... Um, a 2 and an 8. So you'd see 2, 8, and that's considered an ordered pair. They're not going to tell you that this is the x and that's the y. You just need to know that when you see this ordered pair that this is an x and this is a y. Okay? Always just remember that x comes first in the alphabet and x comes first in this. Okay? Now, I do want to say something before I draw the coordinate system. Um, the x is considered an independent variable. And let me tell you why is because um, I chose what I wanted it to be, right? Yeah. Y is a dependent variable. Why? Because it depends on what the X is to make whatever the Y is. Yeah. So this one is dependable variable, and this is independent, okay? That's just something they want you to know, and that's why. Mm -hmm. Y depends on X for its answers. Yeah. We have to know what you have to X, X is, X is so it depends on it. That's a dependent. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. This is an independent. Okay, now, let's talk about this. This is a coordinate system, okay, and a lot of times you'll see it on graph papers, so just real quickly, we'll just do this. Okay, now, in a coordinate system, um, this is considered quadrants, each section, and hopefully you remember a C for a coordinate, okay, coordinate is spelled coordinate. 
to knit. And I always have just always remember that it makes the C, so this is considered the first coordinate, second, or quadrant, I'm sorry, first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, fourth quadrant, and this yeah. makes up the whole coordinate. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, the, sometimes they'll say which quadrant it is in. Well, draw a C, because one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay? So it just makes a C, and that's always easy to remember. Okay? So you may get asked that question just so you know. Okay, now let's talk about the coordinate system in ordered pairs. All right, real quickly. Um, for example, um, this is considered the y-axis, the one that goes up and down, and the one that goes left and right is considered the x-axis. You may want to write that down if you don't know it already. And the way I remember that this one is the y is because look at the y. It goes straight down. Okay? That just always helped me, so that's just something I thought I would tell you. Okay? So, if I asked you to graph these, excuse me, these ordered pairs, I'll do A, B, C, and D. A is 3, 3. Okay? B is negative 4, 0. C is 0, negative 3. And D is 4, negative 2. Now, when you graph these, um, I'm going to go in and draw on my chart, um, my coordinates. Um, positive numbers go to the right and up. Negative numbers go to the left and down. So positive numbers, you start, this is 0. 1, 2, 3, 4. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, negative numbers, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. And negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. And again, that's 0. Okay, so A, remember, the first one is X and the second one's Y. So it's kind of like Battleship um, with the first letter. You kind of the same way. So if you've ever played Battleship, you'll do good with this. So X and Y. X is 3. You'll go 1, 2, 3. Y is positive 3. So X was positive 3 and Y was positive 3. 1, 2, 3. So this makes our very first um, ordered pair that we chart. So we'll put an A there. Okay, now let's do our B. Negative 4, so x, you're always going to do this way. This is your x, so it's always going to be on this line. A negative 4, so 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to hold my spot there. And then 0 is my y, and I'm not going to go up or down because it's 0. So that's my b. Okay, now let's do c. c, remember, um, 0 is my x, so I'm not going to go left or right. I'm going to stay right here. And then negative 3. Um, that means my y, so I'm going to either go up or down. So it's a negative 3, so I'm going to go 1, 2, 3. And that's my spot. That's a C. And then D is a 4, negative 2. So 4 is on my x, so 1, 2, 3, 4. And then D is negative 2, 1, 2. And this is a D. All right? Mm -hmm. And that's how you would graph um, those. All right? All right. Now... I think that's the last thing I needed to share. Let me review real quickly. Um, yes. Okay. So um, this would be a coordinate graph. Um, back in lesson 38, 37, you did coordinate planes where you just wrote them on a line. And you were able to do X is less than or greater than something. Okay. That's a coordinate line or a coordinate plane. And then the coordinate graph is that. Okay. That is lesson 50.